Uncle Yosaivan has gotten himself really behind this white Plemianek, so far behind that he's had to resort to some drastic, risky measures. One of those measures has been doing all of his scav wipes on the reserve. In the tunnels. Where all of the chads go. The idea was to go down and pick the bones off of all of the chads who had shot each other to bits, and then leave. It was going really well for a while too, until Uncle Yosaivan accidentally went down a little bit too early, before all of the violence was over, when there was still some chads down there. And then, Uncle Yosaivan got violent. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. It wasn't two handguns, that's just fun. It it was a Saiga 9. Now that got crazy, Plemianek, and if there had only been one player trying to catch all of Uncle Yosevin's bullets with his head, that would have been the end of it. But there wasn't just one. Uncle Yosaivin's hideout is now completely full. Those guys really stocked him up. <laughs> Remember, Plemianik, it doesn't matter if your name is Timmy or Chad. Everybody has a head with a face with eyes that you can shoot between. <laughs> head eyes. The Great Equalizer. If you would like to see another video where Uncle Yosaivin uses violence to kill poverty, check out this next one. Woobly boobly. I'll see you there.